Yes. <clears throat> so, good morning, Mr. Tatsuarai, Minister of the Embassy of Japan in Portugal, Professor Carlos Oliveira, Chairman of the 15th World Conference on Earthquake Engineering to be held next September here in Lisbon, Portugal, Professor Kazuhiku Kawashima, with us via video conference from the Tokyo Institute of Technology, Professor Luis Guerreiro, Secretary General of the 15th World Conference on Earthquake Engineering. Dear colleagues, <coughs> on behalf of Dr. Carlos Pina, President of the Board of Directors of LNEC, the Portuguese National Lab for Civil Engineering, I'm very pleased to welcome you all. As last year in Japan, Portugal was also hit in 1755, about two and a half centuries ago, by an enormously destructive earthquake and tsunami. The consequent reconstruction of Lisbon was a landmark in the history of mankind, because for the first time, an entire and important town was rebuilt in a way that was thought to ensure its earthquake resistance in order to mitigate future similar tragedies. The institution where we are now, LNEC, was founded in 1946 and seismic engineering has been here under continuous development for almost seven decades now, following Julio Ferri Bosch steps that led in 1958 to the first modern Portuguese earthquake <laughs> resistance regulation. More recently, LNEC has held the European Secretariat for the preparation of Eurocode 8, the new European Code on design provisions for earthquake resistance structures. It is now expected that the next 15th World Conference on Earthquake Engineering will gather next September a few thousands of specialists from all over the world to share here in Lisbon their latest results of research and to discuss the main earthquake engineering challenges. The organizing committee of this huge event has decided to promote today this seminar on the occasion of the first anniversary of the greatest Japan earthquake and tsunami that hit the Japanese coast about one year ago on the 11th of March. I'm delighted with the, the choice of LNEC to host this video conference, and I give now the floor to Mr. Tatsuo Arai, Minister of the Embassy of Japan in Portugal. So please. <coughs> 